So for the foundation key of G, we're going to talk about the differences between the major and the minor key. In a major scale, the third note is the note that determines whether it is going to be major or minor. So the third note in a major key is going to be a whole step. G, A, B, it's going to be a far distance. Uh, the third in the minor key is going to be lowered. So you see there that flat, so it's going to be a half step. Um, G, A, B, and that makes it sound just a little bit like darker, less bright, maybe like sad versus the major key, da da d, it would kind of sound happier. Um, besides that first, that first difference, you will have to see, you'll notice that well, there's two types of minors. There's a melodic minor and there's a harmonic minor. So now we're going to talk about the two differences between those two. Um, if you look at the no number of notes, G, A, B, oops, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we're just going to talk about the notes starting from this G to this G. This is going to be called the first scale degree. This is going to be called the second scale degree. And this just means it's the second note of the scale, third note of the scale, etc. Um, it doesn't mean that you're going to play G with the first finger. That's not possible. Not G natural anyway. So, um, let's see. So this is 8 or also known as 1 because then you're going to recount again. G is 1, A is 2, B is 3, etc. Um, over here, the 6th and the 7th note of the melodic scale is altered. They are raised to go higher. And that is the defining characteristic of a melodic minor scale. The 6th scale degree and the 7th scale degree are going to be raised. So as you might notice, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 higher, 8, and then, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are raised. Then on the way down, we have this uh, uh, difference. It's going to be now lowered back to their original positions. So that's 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we come back. Oops, it's been marked. Uh, oh, oh, it's not working. And then here it is again. These two are going to be lowered. So if you mark that into your music, it'll help you start getting used to that idea. Um, and then moving on to the harmonic minor, likewise counting the first scale degree, the second scale degree, sorry, it's very tedious for you people watching, but there's actually only one rule, which makes this a little bit simpler. The seventh scale degree is going to be raised and that's it. There's no differences going up or going down. That is the defining factor of a harmonic minor scale. The seventh scale degree is raised. So this F sharp is the seventh scale degree. Look for the next F sharp, it's just right there. That will be raised. And then here's another one that is also raised because as you remember, the rules do not change. Here's the last one and that's it, voila. All right, um, the important thing is that the more you play this, the rules are the same for every key. You'll start to hear the pattern of notes in accordance to the whole steps and the half steps. So you'll start to hear hear it more than, so you don't have to think about like each half step as much. So at the beginning, it can be really complicated. It can be a little bit hard. You're like, what, your brain's like, what, what do you want me to do? But just fo just try to follow the raised steps and then the lowered steps and then think about the half steps especially at the beginning which define whether it's a major or minor that third the third note that's going to help you okay <laughs>